Hey guys, so I've been asked a ton what the main differences are between the turkey fuzzy bun and the fuzzy bun that's made in China. I also have a fuzzy bun that's made in the US, so I'm going to compare all three. Give you just kind of a, a quick rundown of the different diapers and why they vary so much. I'll tell you right now and I will try not to favor it. The fuzzy bun made in China, although I wish I could say it was this one, but the one that was made in China was is my my favorite. Um, of course, I would love to keep it local and say I love the one that's made in the U.S., but well, I love it more than the one made in Turkey, yeah, I just, it's, it's not the China one. So we'll start with the obvious differences, and that is the basic, just the cut and the tabs of them. You can see this one's a little pointier, a little more narrow. This one, it's really, it's in between the two, and then this one's even wider. In my opinion, the snaps didn't change a whole lot. Now, on the outside of the diaper, and I'll talk about the, the PUL, which is the pole or the, the outside material, that the waterproof material, um, I believe it is the thinnest and most, you know, kind of like flexible in the U.S. fuzzy bun. Um, in the middle with the, the China and with the turkey, it's very, very thick and rigid. Um, something else that I should add about the turkey fuzzy bun is that the this material is very very sticky it's 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 challenging because it makes the diaper difficult to stuff because the insert will stick to it as you're trying to stuff it it's very very sticky I have had quite a few problems and I've had the majority of my stash has been the China fuzzy bun so it might just be because I've had more but I've had a lot of problems with them delaminating I have not had any problems with my turkey fuzzy buns and I think I have six or seven of them out in the, this is me, just my medium stash. I've never had any problems with them delaminating, but I have had a lot of problems with the China one, and I only have a handful of US diapers, so I couldn't really, I don't have a good gauge, but I've had a lot of problems with those. Well, we have the diapers like this. I want to talk about the elastic. Now, this diaper is a little bit older, and they get newer and newer as you move to the right, but the elastic on the US is kind of, it's eh. And again, that might just be age but it's not the same elastic as the, the China Fuzzy Buns. This diaper's been in rotation for about three years, so it, it's gotten a fair share of wear and tear. I actually bought this one used along with some other US ones a while back, but um, so I don't know the history on this diaper exactly. Now, I do know the history on this turkey one and this China one because I bought both of these new. Now. The elastic here, like I said, it's kind of eh. It's great here. I love the elastic in the China Fuzzy Buns. I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, now, the turkey, it's very, it seems very loose. You can kind of tell. It's just, it's just not the same. And they're all a little bit different, the turkey diapers. I have a black one that's really, really loose. And it's had less wear than this one. So, it just kind of, it depends on the turkey diaper that you have. But you can also see, I don't want it to pull because I want you to have a true look at the difference throughout the time of the way of the elastic, way up here on the US, China, and then Turkey. So the elastic's changed, and truthfully, I think these are three different diapers. It's hard to say that they're all a fuzzy buns because they're all so different. I have, you know, similar diapers who are more similar to maybe this one, but not this one. Now, something that I want to talk about on the inside is the material. These two are pretty much the same. It's the same kind of fleece. Now, this one, it's a different one. It's more, it's more micro, if you want to, if you want to call it that. So this is the inside of the China fuzzy bun. It's soft. It's nice, I like it. It's the same for the US. And then here, the inside of the turkey. And as you can see, it pills. You see this here? So it actually pills quite a bit. Hopefully you can see it, the lighting's really, it's kind of bright right now. But, oh here, maybe you can see it better right here. Can you see that? So. That is kind of a downfall. It doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother my son, so it's it's not a big deal. But it's there. It's something that should be noted. Now for the inserts. Again, because this diaper was bought used, I don't know if that's the original insert, so this one's going to be out of the game for this. Now, this insert is what came with this diaper. And then this insert's what came with this diaper. All right, so I'll just set those to the side for the second. 
Um, as you can see, the turkey insert is much longer than the china insert. And it's also a different kind of material. It's, it's again, it's more rigid. It's not as like soft and as flexible. It's, it's just weird. It almost seems like it wouldn't absorb as much. It's, it's softer, but I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. Um, I don't love it. I prefer this insert. It's easier to use. This one seems too wide for the diaper. Um, I just, I don't like this one as much as this one. Finally, I want to talk about the cut of the diaper and how it's changed. And again, all of these opinions are my own. There may be something to it that I don't know about, but I just want to share with you what I've discovered and what I've experienced and whatnot. So again, here is our U.S. diaper with the, sm the smaller tabs. And I'll hold it up to the China diaper. These are all medium. So here's kind of what we're working with. We've got a little bit, it's a little bit bigger. And then back here, here's how it cuts. So it's different. It's notably different. And now here is the turkey. We'll throw this bad boy on top. As far as the top goes, it kind of goes back to the US sizes. And it too is way different. Now again, this could be the elastic. It could have something to do with it, but I can tell you right now, this diaper fits my son. They all three fit differently. But are the US diapers hard to get these days? You can still sometimes find new China ones, but yeah. So, here you have it. Just different. It's a different cut. It's not as apparent as the, in this one as it is in my black one, but it's in my washer right now, so you don't want to see it. But it's just, it just fits different. It's not good. Now my son, who is, oh, I don't know, maybe he's probably like 20 pounds, fits the second snap in. Um, so he's right here and right here, and he has been there for about, since he was about six months old, and my other son was the same size. Now, and it's the same with the, the China, with the American fuzzy bun, it's three snaps in. So it's a much, it's a much larger diaper as far as the fit goes. And then that way, you know, we don't have any leaks, but I think that pretty much sums it all up. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, my favorite one of the three is the China fuzzy bun. I'm very disappointed that they've moved to Turkey and are no longer manufacturing them in China because not only is the material better, but the cut's better and the fit's better and the inserts are better and it's just an all around better diaper. It's, it's unfortunate because if I were to have to buy my whole stash all over again, I would not buy the turkey fuzzy buns. And I know there's some controversy over the shark tank ordeal, but this is just, this is just stating my experience here, so. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.